This is going to be a fantastic team effort. I'm very proud to have been able to contribute my part. That step is now complete. Thank you. Take talk. Let's talk. This is the Mitten Shah Show. We've asked the same seven questions to entrepreneurs from all over the world to figure out what makes us tick. Take talk. Let's talk. Welcome back, everybody. Today we are here with James from New Zealand. That's right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, James. Um, Thanks for having me here, Mitten. Pleasure. If you had to describe to a seven year old what your company does, how would you do it? So, my company is called Event Finder, and we help people to find out what's going on around them. Uh, tell them what they might enjoy doing and help them to buy tickets so that they can go. Okay. So they can get tickets to the coolest parties. Exactly yeah, right. There you go. That's what they're interested in. <laughs> so the parties that they're most interested in. Precisely. There you go. Perfect. What got you started? So my entrepreneurial journey started when I was very young. My parents were both entrepreneurs as well. And uh, I was at school. I was bored. I wasn't being stretched. And I decided to start my first company. At school? my last year of school before university and so I started a web hosting company and then as I went through university I built that up and sold it and started another one and sold it and started another one and that's where we are today. Okay so during school when others were going to parties you were figuring out how to get people to parties but that probably wasn't a party. That was a different business but okay. that's that's eventually what I ended up doing. Yeah, uh, I, I, along the way I was a DJ for a little while uh, and got really interested in events and live entertainment and that's how I ended up here. Oh sweet. So uh, DJing, partying, so that probably kept you up at night but no. <laughs> what kept you up at night and, and what kept you, uh, what got you jumping out of bed in the morning? Yeah so certainly what, what keeps me awake at night now is I've been doing this for 13 years you know at the beginning we were the disruptor there were these big incumbent old-fashioned ticketing companies and we were this nimble tech startup that was disrupting the industry. Now of course I'm worried about these new guys coming along, new technology and, and kids who are prepared to stay up till all hours of the night to disrupt us. So that's the challenge. But you know, what really gets me out of bed in the morning is that we're still building great products, we're still going out and we're getting them in front of these clients who are then able to do incredible things as a result of using our systems. And that's what's so exciting. That's sweet. I mean, it's it's disruption that keeps you up at night, but it's also disrupting others that makes you jump out of bed in the morning. So it's disruption, that's it. actually. That's it. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you know now that you wish you knew when you started on this journey? I, I wish I'd known that I didn't have to have all the answers. You know, that, that whole, I think we've all got it to a certain extent, that imposter syndrome. And you think you, you can't be the person who's saying, look, I don't know, having to go and ask the questions and, and the thought that people might think less of you because you don't know what to do next. And I think perhaps it's just the years that have gone by now, I understand I don't have to know all the answers. And it's such a relief, you know, and it turns out there's a lot of people around who you, you can go for help uh, and ask them and get the benefit of their experience. And they don't mind. In fact, they love telling you uh, and, and sharing that with you. So I wish I'd known that a bit earlier. Mm, nice. Yeah. That you can ask. That you can always ask. Yeah, yeah. And you don't always have to know all the answers. Yeah, absolutely. But then the trick becomes actually asking the right people at the right time. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hopefully you get better and better at that over time as absolutely, well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, what are some of the mistakes that you have made that others can learn from? I think one of the biggest mistakes is this naivety or optimism and thinking that everything is going to take a lot less time than it actually does. And uh, that's not always such a problem. In fact, naivety is great. It's good, you know, if you, if you knew how hard this would be, perhaps you wouldn't do it in the first place. Um, but I, I wish I'd realized that when it came to, for example, agreements with uh, co-founders or early employees or, or deals that get put together. And I think in that optimism and naivety at the beginning, you sometimes think, look, it doesn't really matter that much because it's not, you know, we're not going to be doing this for too long. Um, but the reality is these things always take three, four, five times longer than you expect. And you're going to have to live with those decisions and those deals that you've done for that length of time. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's, 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 it's the planning work. I mean, when, it, when you come to setting up the, how the deal is going to be structured. Yeah, it's understanding that whatever you do uh, is actually, whatever deals you put in place are actually going to be something that you will have to live with and you will have to uh, abide by for probably longer than you expect to. Mm -hmm. Looking back at your journey now, 
What are some of the points that you're really proud, happy, satisfied, content with? I think when I look back, the, the biggest moments are when I've had people in my team who have looked at the goals that we've set for ourselves as a group or, or the goals that have been set for them individually and thought, wow, that's a stretch. Like, how am I going to do that? You know, how am I going to get that deal? How am I going to hit those numbers? How am I going to get that product live in this short space of time? And then to see them actually do it or for the team to achieve it together. Mm -hmm. And then you see those people then reflect on it and go, wow, I did that. And that makes me incredibly proud. So achieving the difficult, almost impossible. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Nice. And helping other people to do that. Okay. Together. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. If you had a billboard and you could put on any message that you wanted, what would that message be? The message would be stop waiting and get out there and do this thing that you've been thinking about and you haven't done yet because life is short and there is never going to be a better time. Yeah, yeah. Powerful, impactful and now. I mean, yeah. Right sweet. now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how has EO made a difference in your personal, family, community, or business life? I think before EO, I tended to focus solely on problems and obsess on them, whether it was solving a technical issue or winning a client or whatever it might have been, and to the exclusion of all else. And I think EO has helped me to understand that I need to look at uh, the bigger picture and have more balance and make sure that I'm focused on not only this tiny part of the small problem that's right in front of me, but, but everything else as well. And in particular, I spend more time with those that I'm very close to, um, cherish the moments that I can with my wife, um, and make sure that I'm smelling the roses along the way. Um, because it's very easy to get caught up in that tiny little thing and uh, for the other things around to, to fall by the wayside. Community is another big thing, and Neo has taught me that uh, I, I want to contribute, I want to give back, and it's incredibly rewarding when you do. Yeah, that's always been for me like the hardest one that I fill out in the 360, right? Because you know, <laughs> but then because of that, I, I get driven that um, I'd like to do, so, I'd like to share something you know proper here next time. So let, let me start working on this aspect again. I find it incredibly inspiring to sit there in forum and to listen to my fellow forum members talk about what they're doing in yeah. the community. Yeah. And it makes me realize, first of all, I'm not doing enough. And secondly, hey, I want to go with you next time you're doing some of this stuff yeah. so that I can help as well. Yeah. It's that coming back to that mention of togetherness that you were talking about. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. James, thank you so much. Mission, great to be here. Likewise. Thanks.